back, my friends, to the Coliseum. Grizzly Mantis here with an explorer contender. Very linear, very to the point. It's Angelicoco. For those who are not aware, one of the key cards in the Explorer format, Collected Company. Look at the top six cards of your library. Put up to two creature cards with mana value three or less from among them out of the battlefield. The rest go to the bottom. Very simple, very direct, very powerful four mana instant. And the rest of the deck is exactly what you would expect. Unfortunately, unlike Historic, we don't have access to Soul Warden and all the fun shenanigans that be, so we gotta improvise a little bit. First up is Lunark Veteran. Basically a Soul Warden, except it's only your side of the board. Yeah, it kinda stinks, but, you know, it's Explorer. You gotta deal with what you got. Prosperous Innkeeper is an interesting one. I'm trying to simultaneously fill the roles of gaining life and accelerating to collect a company, because it's what this deck is about. And then... Of course, Speaker of the Heavens, 1-1-4-1, one, 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 Vigilance and Lifelink. We get to 7 life more, and we start making angels. So 27 or higher, this little bad boy goes off. Worth the inclusion, in my opinion. May just get destroyed, but when things are going well, or even if things are going decently, Homeboy pulls his weight. There we go. Now let's get to the angels. Oh, no, wait, hold on. We got one more devoted individual to highlight, Bishop of Wings. Two white, a 1-4. Whenever an angel enters the battlefield under your control, gain four life. Whenever an angel dies, you get a 1-1 one, one spirit token. So that is our non-angel portion of the tour. Oh, I'm sorry. We got one more. Good gravy. Skyclave Apparition has a four of it. Kind of has to be here. We got to be able to hit Grease Fang. Got to be able to deal with problematic permanence. This is the best one. Brutal Cathar, if we were playing best of three, Brutal Cathar would probably be somewhere in the 75. But for best of one, just go in Skyclave. It handles everything we care about. Brutal Cathar... If we run into, like, Reanimator, that's a different story, but Skyclave Apparition handles everything, to my knowledge, that we care about, or at least the bulk of it. The Venn diagram of care and not care, and right in the middle, that's where Skyclave Apparition falls. Anyone else? Alright, Angel Time. First off, Giada, Font of Hope. Very powerful little lord, also has mana acceleration for angels. Unfortunately, cannot accelerate into Coco, but, you know, obviously having the Lord with Vigilance and a tapping for mana from a white creature is asking enough, so we won't push it. We got Righteous Valkyrie, goes without saying, one of the best angels ever printed. 2-4 Flyer for 3, and whenever another angel or cleric enters the battlefield under control, gain life equal to its toughness. As long as you have that magical 7 life or more than your starting life total, is a plus 2, plus 2 Anthem. Fabulous. If you haven't seen this one, this is a fun little doozy, Resplendent Angel. A nice little trained Armadon, 3-3 three, three for 3 with flying at the beginning of each end step. If you gain 5 or more life this turn, boom. 4-4 four, four Angel with flying and vigilance, and for the dinty little cost of 6 mana, you can turn this bad boy into a 5-5 five, five flying lifelink. So, very powerful card. You see why the importance of having not just one, but two of these little bad boys in the battlefield when she comes a-knocking, because then the army, army comes a-knocking with her. Then, at the very tippy-top... A pair of Inspiring Overseer. This is a fabulous Streets of New Capenna common. Very simple. Just a 2-1 for 3 with flying. Gain a life. Draw a card. Simple enough. You see, it's a very linear deck. There's not even really much to highlight over here. I mean, it's just the one of lands that are good. Hmm. Should I have put a Boseju in there? Eh, probably not. Hopefully, Skyclave Apparition can deal with it. But if not, we might cut something. No, probably not. I mean, strictly a green source. I think that's why I didn't. I don't like taking out gr like green-white sources for gr strictly green sources unless they do something really powerful. So never mind. Forget to mention Boseju. I mean, that's basically the deck. There's nothing much to say beyond that. So what I'll say is, if you're interested in any statistics after we play our games, uh, I'll bring up the untapped.gg. We'll see. Maybe we can break that 57%. Maybe not. 57% still nothing to write home and about. But that's the deck. Yeah. There's really just not much to it. It's really just get your angels on the battlefield and hope you win. Luckily, there's not many, as many sweepers in this format. I mean, I guess debatably they're the same amount because instead of Wrath of God, we've got some alternatives that would do essentially the same thing against this deck. So, eh, we'll see. Sweepers are the scariest thing, but luckily we have backup plans for sweepers in addition to just having efficient creatures. So, having said that, if you like what I do, feel free to click like and subscribe. Show me your support. Say, hey, dude, I like angels. I like you playing angels. I'm going to hit that button. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, uh, well, let's get to the games. Awkward. If we hit green mana, this hand isn't terrible. If we don't hit green mana, this hand is terrible. But we'll try it. What's the worst that could happen, right? If we just get clobbered by the mirror? Yeah. Righteous Valkyrie's a good start. Maybe we'll just go white weenie mode, and he won't do anything. 
Planes go is not where we want to be. We want to see a green source here. Oh, it's the mirror. Buckle up, buckaroos. Well, the good news is we're the first one to the Coco. The bad news is he's the first one to the Bishop. Giada. He's got his Giada. We do not. Might as well get in for one. But we're not. Oh, no, there's our Righteous Valkyries that we most certainly wanted to... We're just going to pass the turn here. If he has a Coco or something like that, we want to have as many options as available for our Coco, because if we see something like a Skyclave Apparition, perfect, then we'll know what to hit. Plus, we might be able to, oof, say bait and attack, but... Well, he's at his magic number. Let's see if we can get to ours, shall we? Unfortunately, we got two Righteous Valkyries in our hand, so. Let's gain some life. Skyclave Apparition. Let's make everybody huge. Hmm. Let's see. 3-5. We can attack with our 3-3s, three but that'll do nothing. We'll just get eaten by the Valkyrie, so we'll pass. We're hoping the Speaker of the Heaven survives or the Righteous Valkyrie survives. Either one of those survives and we'll be in at least decent shape. If not, well, he's got Inspiring Overseer. We have a nice cushion of life here as well, so all right. Let's start making angels. Yeah, he's got the... Oh, he's not attacking. Ooh. 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 I want to get that other righteous Valkyrie out. Yeah, let's take the Lord. Okay, let's get in with what I wonder. Let's see. We attack with the Valkyrie. He double blocks here. I think we just have to wait, which stinks. Let's see, we attack, 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 attack with everybody. We got three, five, 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 eight. Five, seven, eight to five, 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 seven, eight to five, five. And then we get double blocked on our Valkyrie. No love here, sir. Got to wait till we can wipe them out in one attack. You'd think we'd be able to do it, but you'd be wrong. Oh, Lord. Ow. Ow. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's rebuild. A Johnny'd me. Oh, next level. And things were going so well, too. We got a cushion of life here. Let's see if we can do something with it. Yep. He isn't to the magic number yet. He's not gaining enough to make angels, but still. Yep. We're getting our faces clobbered. No blocks here, kind sir. We're going to have to Skyclave Apparition this resplendent angel, but then we're just sitting here, aren't we? Yep. Uh, yeah, we are in big trouble. Trouble, 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 trouble. Okay, opponent's just ready for this mirror match. He's got us beat outright. <laughs> Man, a Johnny. That's another awkward hand. I'm gonna draw with this garbage. Yeah, we'll try it. Oof, I regret this decision. We'll see, though. Yeah, not paying life is better. I imagine all of our stuff's going to die pretty quick. He gets to chain Whirler mana, and we're in trouble. Mm-hmm. Two three is better than a one two. Yeah, he did. No, he not did. Interesting. Let's go Prosperous Innkeeper and a Speaker. 
Not too worried about the, uh... Yeah, he did. Got him! That's weird. It's not showing the correct disturb cost. Should be one in a while, shouldn't it? Should be. No blocks here, sir. I'm not gonna trade any of my dudes for your dudes. Let's hope we don't see a chain whirler. Yeah, I just assembled the wrong hand for this matchup. I thought it was a windmill slam chain whirler. I was like, no! Please don't coin, sir. I really would appreciate it if you didn't. Ugh. It's not what we need to see in this matchup. Let's go innkeeper into Lunark Veteran, I suppose. And then next turn's gonna be a bloodbath. He's got another removal spell. Sure. Just keep him coming, bro. Keep him coming. He has Vigilance. If he trades with the Pyromancer, sounds good to me. Boop! Just staying alive, staying alive. Probably double block the Setching of Kumano so then we can sky the Apparition, the Lava Runner, and just try to stay alive, baby. Probably get blown out here by a removal spell, but eh. Nope. Sweet. Cool. Light up the stage. Oof. Brutal. Yep. And play the land. Beautiful. Speaking of beautiful. Alright, Cave of the... <laughs> Cave of the Frost Dragon, it's you and me against the world, baby. Oh, I was supposed to play the Cave of the Frost... Ah, it doesn't matter. If I play a tap this turn, it won't do anything. So what's the best thing we could draw? It would clearly be Collected Company. Oh boy. Yep. He gets his 1 1 back. Then he plays the land and plays the 4 4. Alright, well, let's see a collected company off the top, I suppose. Otherwise, we probably did. Hey, look, it's a Skyclave Apparition. Well, I suppose that is better than nothing. Alright, Cave. It's you and me, baby. Yep. Ow, 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 ow. Yep. 3-3. Got it. Nice. Alright. <sighs> Let's wait. More, the more knowledge we have, the better, right? He drew something. Whatever it is, it is a burn spell. Keep that in mind. Let's see, we're at 16 now. Sure. If he's got the burn spell, I want him to use it now. It could be the Ramanapa Ruins holding priority too, so we got to keep that in mind. But I'd rather just take the four here and see what happens. If he's got a removal spell, he'll want to use it. And then Cave of the Fo Cave of the Frost Dragon can just hold the... Hold the fort. Ooh, yep. That's why we don't block something bigger. Hmm. Block there, block there. We'll pass. I'm just gonna hold up the cave here. The Speaker of the Heavens probably isn't doing much. Chandra. Dress to kill. Sure. Oh, now we gotta block everybody. Can't let this, uh... Let's see. So, we can block here, block here, block here. Or we can kill the Soul Scar Mage. 
Yeah, let's kill the Soul Scar Mage. He's scarier. Yep. Does it make a difference playing this first, I wonder? Nah. Oh, snap! I was not thinking we were going to win that one, but hey, you never know, man. <laughs> Sure. I mean, we don't have any angels, but we find them. We're in good shape. Depends what my opponent's got going on here. Really? Let's double spell next turn. Yeah. If we get these Bishop of Wings out, we'll be much better off, or much better suited for this matchup. Yep. Burning Tree Emissary. You got him. Follow up. Burning Tree Emissary, you got him. Follow up. Stomp. Stomp would be savage. Nope, Robber the Rich. Brutal. What do you get? A Plains. No blocks here, sir. Plains is fine. Yeah, let's just go double bishop here. Gain a, a little bit of life. Nope. Catch out. We're in Ember Cleave territory now. Down to three cards in hand. Oh, well, that sucks, but luckily we got the answer. No attacks here, sir. We usually play four of those bad boys, so we ain't out of the dark yet. Hopefully gain 8 life next turn and go from there. Fervent Champion. Bring it. Oh, he's brought in it. Shh. Here comes Embercleave, everybody, so... Let's see here. Let's take out the... Let's take the least amount of damage while being able to... Survive the most. The Ember Cleaves will want to touch it here. Sure, there it is. Show me that Ember Cleave. It's been so long. What? Oh, okay, he's doing something with priority. Then he's gonna Ember Cleave. Okay, Goblin Chain Whirler to just own me? Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic. Let's gain some life. Let's see here. I'm not blocking with you either, am I? Nope. And let's keep Robber the Rich out of the out of the game by just playing the land. I thought for sure that was Number Cleave hand. Yeah, that's why we keep Robber the Rich out of this game. Sure. We gotta. And sure. Get the air. Uh, gain some life back. Anything else, kind sir? What else you got for me? Ooh, carry Zev. That's a beating. Oof. Sure. Let's race. me for six. Oh no! Never mind. He's hitting me for more than six now. There goes that option. Ow. Prosperous innkeeper, eh? We need to hit something here. Hmm, that's a beating too. What do you got for me? Can't gain life anymore? 
Actually, wait a minute. It's plus two, right? Hmm. Do I want to... Well, I'm obviously going to block here. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's a good one if it... Five, six... Just double block it. End its reign of terror for once and for all. Get a 1-1 one, one out of the deal. Or just jump block. Or just take four. I'm thinking. Attack back for six. Seven. He'll be at one at that point. This isn't an angel, right? Just checking. <sighs> hmm. Don't want to take it, because he could just burn my face off. Don't want to double block it, so what do we do here? We can block with the bishop. Attack for six. Chump block here, he attacks me back. We chump block here. Let's go for the chump block. Let's go for this. Ah, let's go for the chump block. Ah. Sorry, 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 I'm going. Yep. What's that other card? I don't have anything else going on. Might as well activate. All right, here we are. Show me what you got. You can shoot me for two, so I'm at 11. What else you got for me? He's got the den. All right, here we go. He's bringing it. And we're saying okay, so let's see here. Two... Block the biggest things here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoo, baby! Nail biter! Those rampaging ferocidons do not make this job easy, baby. Oh, yeah, sure. Straight up angel hand. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, it's against control, E. Eh? Let's go with the Valkyrie. Yep. Gotta watch out for March. March is the scariest thing right now. Skip for damage. He's got something. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, Faithful Absence. Do I want to Coco in response? I don't believe so. Yeah. Sorry, I was just thinking of between it and the Resplendent Angel. This way we can tap the cigar so that we can, uh, a Giada so that we can crack this clue. Here we go. What you got as the follow-up. Sounds good to me. 
We're definitely going to Skyclave Apparition that, but we gotta watch out because here comes. Gotta watch out because here comes creativity. Well, no, you only got one red. Oh, Transmega 5, of course. And this is non token. Yep. Let's see. Is there any situation where we could win here? Probably not. Alright. Could play the second Giarda, Giada in the Skyclave of Apparition on the Fires of Invention. It's not the worst idea in the world. Does he have the sweeper? That's the question here. Let's find out. Yep. Discard two, draw two. I think I'd rather just hold up the Coco than take out the fires. It could come back to bite us, not gonna lie, but you never know. Droid disruption. There it is. Play it for free. He only gets two spells. Let's hope they don't just cripple us. All right, number one. Bye, Righteous Valkyrie. Number two. Show me number two, baby. Let's get the Transmegrify target off of here. Let's see what number two is. The gods be angry. Let's go in response. Just to see if we can pull it off. To gain what? Not enough, unfortunately. Can't gain enough life here, can we? We cannot. Dang. Well, now we can. That stinks. That stinks big time. All right. Yes, I'm aware, opponent. Thank you, though. Fable the Mirror Breaker or Wandering Emperor? We'll Fable the Mirror Breaker. Dang it! Did not expect to whiff on that one. But that's alright, I suppose. Man! It's probably greedy. Yep. And there she is. Let's just throw it all out to get rid of the Wandering Emperor and pass. Still has much to this is probably going to get ugly. That Coco was such a whiff. If we'd have hit another angel of any kind, our stuff would have survived and we'd have been fine. But if he hits like a, uh, you know, if he goes with a, um, a sweeper here, then, well, that's just the end of it. At the very least, he gets to do some free stuff. Fires a mention. Nasty business. down one to go well no he can play this the orion bounce the fires of invention and then get more spells out of the steel yeah hit the treasure too do it all right so now he gets one more spell what could it be nothing beautiful not beautiful all right well Oh, does he have it?
There we go. He gets to draw some cards. And see if he finds what he needs. Hmm, there goes Agent of Treachery. Brutal. Run away. You'll be safer. One down, one to go. Who's the scarier of the two? The Valkyrie, definitely. Okay. My judgment is fine. One more spell. See how brutal it is. I'm good. Yep. Now we're probably dead. But we'll see. You never know. Coco off the top could do something. Bishop of Wings. Cool. We out. <laughs> oh yeah, just missed it. That Coco was clutch and we dropped the ball, baby. Boof. Sure. This is the this is what we're hoping for, right? We got green, we got our accelerated Coco. It'd be nice to get that Bishop of Wings out, but we'll see what we're up against. Thoughts these by Coco. In that case, we'll just go with Yep. One staple for the other. Just go with Bishop into Valkyrie. It's gonna gain us more life than Innkeeper. Yep. Oh boy. Yeah, he did. Hmm. So we go Prosperous Innkeeper into Prosperous Innkeeper or Prosperous Innkeeper? Into Speaker of the Heavens, actually. Fast turn. Straight up Grease Fang. Or is this Esper Control? Oh, it's Grease Fang. Boy. Oh, oh lordy. Don't have enough. Don't think I have a way to get there this turn. We're probably dead next turn, so let's see here. What's the best thing to do? Yeah, probably just pay the Valkyrie and pass. That's probably the worst of all the options. Yep. Man, really wanted that Coco. Oof, let's see what he's got for us. At least we know it'll be a quick one. Tainted Indulgence. <laughs> oh, it's just so easy, isn't it? All right, well, we get one... Oh, we get one chance here to do something. Yep, no blocks here, kind sir. Ow. Ow, ow, yep. Let's see what happens. Yeah, the font of hope. Okay, well, let's see if he's got it again. <laughs> oh, Grease Fang! We can play this game all day, apparently. Nope, now we can't. Bye! Yeah, nah, not even gonna deal with that one. Right, uh, you sure? It's a good hand if the Giada survives. If it does not, well, this will be a little trickier, won't it? I was debating changing between games, but, uh... Yeah, let's just play the poop. And get in there. Anyways, debating changing between games for a better Grease Fang fight, but. Hmm. Don't want to walk into a disruption, as always. Ow! 
Ooh, essence scatter. That's a good one. Yep. Oof, where were you last game? Well, let's keep it up. This time we're going to go with the Overseer. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <sighs> Got him. Room for that main phase, baby. Had it all along. Slowly working towards that. Hmm. Does that strike you as a shock for a Sharknado. I'm guessing yes. Let's see if I'm right. Cycle a shark typhoon, make a 3 3, eat one of my guys. Huh. What are the odds? You fiend. I think I don't know what you're up to over there, opponent. Don't think I don't know. Definitely need to be finding something else. Oh no, Narsa! What do you got for me? Let's see what she finds. She didn't whiff. He's thinking. Dobin's veto. Interesting. Soul Guide Lantern. No! What's the point of showing me the veto if you're not going to hold it up? Oh, he's got another land to make. Nope. Now he's got a little land drop to make. Yep. That is ridiculous. He shows me the veto, but we can't do anything about it. Maybe just attack with everybody. Send the 4-4 at Narset and the rest at him. He eats the Giada. We play another Giada. Alternatively, we could... Can we get to 27 life without losing the speaker? I don't think so. I know, I'm thinking. I guess we could send the angel at the Narset and see what he does. Could send everybody. Yep, just that. See if he wants to block or not. He does. Let's take the Narset out of here. My mind needs a rest. Not in this fourth land's kind of bumming me out. Oh, hey, there it is. Hey, maybe he'll tap out with the veto in hand again. No, that's unfortunate. Stop with the Gianti. Or Giada, excuse me. Here we are. The hero of Dominaria. Sure, sure, sure. Right on schedule. Right on schedule. Need to move quickly. It needs to move quickly. Soul Guide Lantern again. Man, he tapped out in the turn, and of course that's the turn we draw the Coco. No blocks here, sir. God, now I gotta deal with a friggin' Teferi. Not feeling good about it. So he's got something. He's got Field of Ruin and what else? Shatter the sky. Boo!
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? You know what? I'm not done yet. No blocks here, kind so. Oh, oh, interesting. I guess we'll start with the easy part, right? Beep, bop, boop. Speaker of the heavens, good with you, sir? So we'll be staring at that veto for a while. Cool. It's all for me. It's gonna be a heck of a tap out, but I don't think it's coming anytime soon. Who knows? Maybe he will. Oh no. Yep. Yep. Yes, you. Settle the wreckage. Do it. Shark Typhoon. Brutal. Brutal. Boop bop. Gain a life. Play the land. Play the Giada. Because that's what I got. Uh, is there ever a better time? No, there's not. Oh, if he's got a shadow of the sky, we're dead. <laughs> but if he doesn't, we're not. I mean, I had to squeeze it in at any moment I could. Oh, he's going for the upkeep scry. Find that other shadow of the sky. I know, it sucks having to do that. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Do bottom! Magic gods! Do you want the angels to win? They're on your side. Magic gods? Oh! Thank you, magic gods! Thank you all so much. Beautiful! Beautiful. I know, I know, I know. So, I mean, we got very, very lucky there with that Coco hitting the Valkyrie and the Resplendent Angel. But, of course, that was the point. Sandbag it until Vito is no longer on the table. Luckily, we found an opportunity, but... Whew! whew Nailbiter. And we are back with the wrap-up with... Well... <laughs> split right down the middle. A fitty, fitty record with this bad boy. Man. Tell you that mirror match loss, a Johnny was fabulous. I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to redo this list. Maybe I think honestly. Well, we'll talk about the changes in a second. Overall, I mean, you got to see Mono Red was. A, I'm not gonna say it was a breeze. It was definitely a nail biter. But we were able to just come back many times against them. Uh, you know, it was always his thing. Uh, Grease Fang is God. Grease Fang is an issue in this format. It is. It's like I have to. We have to skew every list to just not get turn three by grease fang and even then just does it so i think that's a necessary evil it's kind of like one of those decks you just gotta play against you gotta be able to do something it kind of reminds me of playing against jameer rogues and old standard it was like the worst feeling ever like this feeling of just fading and sinking hope as your opponents just like turn one crab turn two whatever it doesn't matter if you see that turn one crab just like if you see a turn two discard spell you just you feel your heart sink you like boo boo that's a shame but overall that was fantastic fantastic let's hop back over real quick all right what would i change okay first off i like prosperous innkeeper but homeboy's gotta go i definitely like a johnny i mean a johnny strength of the pride one maybe two our opponent on the other one had two i think that's greedy it's fantastic in the mirror match but i think it's otherwise greedy um let's see here so what do we have four eight twelve twenty one two three twenty three lands i suppose we could do some youthful valkyries probably cut what else do we need to cut here i like inspiring overseer too we could cut lunark veteran honestly we could it pulled a lot of weight there we're losing a lot of our early game stuff if we do but i mean it's not the worst idea in the world could go with the second to Johnny. We got three gaps left. 
Uh, we I'll tell you what was uh, I don't like this idea, but we could put some March of Otherworldly Lights in there for Grease Fang. It could come in handy. Maybe like two and uh, what's that? Uh, what's that? We got stuck on lands a couple times. What did I say? Twenty three. What's that? Uh, there it is. Skyclave Cleric. I think I don't hate that. Two of them. That's if we didn't want to do a three of. We probably have to go up to four speakers if we're losing the other stuff too. And then we're down to overseers. Man, this is getting tricky. This is an entirely different deck. We'll have to do a version two of this once we're in the mood. But yeah, unfortunately, I, I hate having the slots for March, but we kind of have to with Grease Fang out there. Alternatively, you could do something like um, Soul Guide Lantern or something of that nature. But the problem is, of course, we're trying to do things here. Skyclave Apparition should be enough, but it probably isn't. It definitely isn't without the um, innkeepers, because then we don't have the ability to accelerate into the collective company before they can get their combo off, because that's kind of what you hope for in that matchup, or at least in my opinion. Otherwise, I feel like anything we're doing is slightly diluting our plan. Yeah, by slightly, I mean it's diluting our plan a bit too much, but... That's kind of what you got to do. Man, Grease Fang's a beating. Other than that, we had a pretty fair matchup in most of those. Uh, the Fires one, I definitely would chalk up to just sequencing. I feel like we could have won that, but it's hard to say how. I mean, Rears Call should probably be in here somewhere too, actually. How often do we get to seven mana, though? But, man, what a comeback with uh, Righteous Valkyrie. Hmm, who knows? Things to think about is the important part here. Okay, well, I say that's all for now. If you haven't already, do just, just do it. Just smash the like. Smash the subscribe, get on board, get down to the Coliseum, and we will see everybody later.